Uh, welcome to a new video, a new special video, because this is the Opel Find X7 Ultra. It got a new update and let's talk about it. So a huge new update has arrived for the Oppo Find X7 Ultra, roughly 500 megabytes here, and uh, yeah, system stability improvements, NFC uh, improvements, uh, battery improvements, and all this stuff. But what I'm interested in is the camera improvements because we got new, better cameras. I'm recording here now in Dolby Vision 4K, 60 frames per second, and the cool thing is I can do this on all lenses. So I can go to the ultra wide angle, and now I'm on the ultra wide angle also 4k 60 frames per second in Dolby Vision HDR isn't that cool and I can also switch and show you uh, the zoom lenses so we go directly to three times you can see how smooth it switches also between the lenses it's fantastic and go up to 18 times stabilization is also fine let's go back to one times and I will show you a little bit more that you can see in the changelog we have now ultra raw as a new option that allows us to have like a little bit of edited processed raw files that we can use on all our lenses to optimize our photos which is quite nice and I will do in a short second you will see it I will do a little like a test about the ultra raw in comparison to the raw do we see some differences in such things and then we have some other options there as well improvements in 4k zooming again with uh, zooming in zooming out you saw that already which is quite nice as well and we have this dolby vision hdr recording which is quite nice uh, with all the lenses on the back as well so huge improvements here uh, that oppo did on the camera software of the oppo find x7 ultra and uh, yeah the more they update this i think the better it will get and i think i'm i have to test it again against the vivo x100 pro but i'm pretty sure in video this will get even one point more on my ranking system and if this really gets one point more here 0 0.1 point not one point 0 0.1 point more then it will beat the vivo x100 pro on the top of the ranking list but i have to test out a little bit more to tell you a little bit um yeah to tell you a bit more about this so Let's take some shots, especially also portrait shots, because this is another option that they updated. Uh, portrait shots should work nicer now, should detect faces a bit better. What was criticized with the DxO mark was if multiple uh, faces are there, then the portrait effect will blur out one face and the only one detected face will have a sharp face and i think they worked or tried to work with a software algorithm to make like both faces then sharp and this is something that we that i will test out for sure and will get you also the results there in a bit and uh, yeah some other things there as well in terms of cameras uh, that improved but these are i think the major major things that uh, oppo fixed with the find x7 ultra so let's check out raw first so here's the difference between raw photographing with master mode as you can see here when i take the photo just to take the photo when i go and switch to raw max uh, we see a brighter exposure if i take the photo it will take a bit longer to take the photo because i think it's recording an hdr photo just taking an hdr photo at least the screen switches to hdr mode when i'm opening it up here and if I go to the normal one you can see it's a little bit blunt at least on screen it looks like blunt I have to check it out on the computer how it will look like but for me it looks like that we have HDR information on the uh, extra raw on the new raw option that we have here um, what do you think raw max let's check out the uh, photos and we start off with the 10 times zoom photos that have tremendously improved here this is 10 times now roughly 10 times you can see 225 millimeters but tremendously improved you can see no noise very very sharp yeah the bokeh is a little bit like um, artificial there for sure what you can see the text is nicely readable the details are nicely there and this reminds me very much of the 300 millimeter i think it was that you get with the uh, 6x zoom if you press the 6x zoom button again which is like i don't know 13 times zoom something like this and i checked out because they have they, they yeah they claim to have been on par with the 13 times zoom so this is the 13 times zoom and you can clearly see i would even say it's better look at this slightly bit better like the colors are a little bit better there where the this one is a bit too dark there 
in this regard. But nevertheless, it, it's an improvement for sure at the 10 times zoom. And then of course they're claiming also that in between 10 times and 13 times they also optimized a lot there. So I took this shot at 261, which I think is 11 times. And uh, you can see, yeah, it looks good as well. It's detailed, it's clear. It's miles better than what we had before on the previous versions. Let's check out some raw footage. And yes, this is DNG raw. I did not edit this DNG raw. This is the normal DNG raw, what you get uh, by default and what you got also in earlier firmware versions. So it has all the information there. As you can see, it's a bit stuttering on the computer and just loading the uh, raw the uh, what is it raw max version here you can see how much brighter it is but also it looks appears to be a bit overexposed here but i think this is because it is um yeah 50 megapixel first of all instead of 12.6 megapixels so you have a lot more megapixels to work around with and i think it took multiple exposures and we have a bit of hdr baked in here so i think this has to be edited and uh, you can see the details here in comparison to what you see here in terms of details, much better there. So you can work a little bit more with this. And it's so clear here, um, very well done, I would say. So I'm surprised by this raw file and uh, yeah, editing is definitely a um, possibility there with this one. Front facing camera, did something change there? Did they optimize a little bit with the front facing camera? I don't think so. It's 32 megapixels. I think it's a bit too, too zoomed in. By default, I think they should zoom out a little bit. This one looks much better. This would be like, I think, I don't know, 24, maybe 12 megapixels would be enough as well if you do pixel binning or something like this on the 32 megapixels. And if you need the 32 megapixels, just give us an option to do this. But this would, a little bit zoomed out, looks a lot better. Their bokeh is also nice. Cutouts also well done, I would say. Uh, not much of an improvement that I see with the selfie cam. Then the improvements with portrait, this is now with the main camera sensor here, portrait mode enabled. Uh, they said they optimize a little bit, especially when you have multiple persons in the shot or multiple people in the shot with their faces, how they optimized me and my daughter. I censored her a little bit, <laughs> this is why I put the flower there. But you can see my eyebrows, I'm sharp, her eyebrows also sharp, her eye there. I can tell you as well, also sharp. You can see that the rest here is a bit blurrier already. And there as well, you can see it's a bit of the fake bulkiness has a little bit of its limitations still. So this is, yeah, out of focus there. And this is again in focus. So I think it has still some issues there, but it's better than it was before, where usually before you have only one face that is in focus, basically that has this optimization, the other one doesn't have anything. And uh, yeah, then I checked out the faster shutter speed that they, I don't know if they, they did not say if it's implemented in the sports mode or normal mode. So I checked the normal mode and you can see here, Timmy running around in action. It's doing an okay kind of job in the normal mode here. I think even better there, we can see him running. So much faster shutter speed already. And this is now 135 millimeter, which is I think uh, six times zoom, if I'm not completely mistaken. 135, yes, six times zoom. And uh, then let's go, uh, this is also six times zoom. You can see also, it's much faster. Yeah, it's not 100% blurry there, but it's the shutter speed is definitely much faster there. And then I switched to sports mode and here is like, you can see him jumping like a rabbit there. You can see it's a bit softer, it's a bit overexposed there because they're not doing so much processing in this uh, sports mode, but it's a very nice photo. And I think uh, together with the faster shutter speed, we can get in sports mode uh, the action now, which is fantastic. Even here, him running past me and I was like, moving the camera and at the same time shooting you can see he has like his how he's running like with both feet uh, over the ground and i think only his yeah his last foot there is on the ground everything else is like over the ground and look how he's looking at me taking the photo which is also quite nice there so very very nice photo very fast so the sports mode is really improved here uh, on the Find X7 Ultra. Let's go back to this selfie, uh, not selfie, to the portrait mode again. And uh, I had to stretch my arm out a little bit there. My daughter playing with the um, flowers. Uh, it's like a very nice day, sunny day. 
and this time around we are not on the same plane level so i was like leaning a bit forward she was leaning a bit backwards this is usually where the 1x zoom especially has some issues there but in this case it was doing quite a fine job there i would say so you can see i'm totally sharp there but she also is sharp her face is like optimized you can see again the fall off of the focus now better here but also she is nice and sharp so this is something they that they really improved with the uh, newest update on the Find X7 Ultra for sure. Then six times zoom macro mode here. You can see it's using really the six times zoom for f4.3. And uh, this one works better, interesting enough, than the uh, 3x zoom. The 3x zoom was slightly blurry in, in this test. So I just, just stick to the six times zoom. I don't see any improvements in terms of macro mode. They didn't state it, but hey, I just have the ability to do it. And there were nice leaves around there. So I just took the shot. And ultra wide angle, they also didn't claim anything about the ultra wide angle. Uh, this one is also still the little bit softer kind of ultra wide angle with some issues there on the side, getting a bit soft, as you can see on both sides there. But it's an okay kind of uh, shot here, I would say. So no improvements there on the ultra wide angle. HDR is working fine. And uh, then I tried again, this is uh, 13 times zoom, 300 millimeter. Um, this plane was like passing by. I wanted to know which kind of plane is it. And yeah, you can read it FED, so probably FedEx. And here you can read it as well. And the next shot here from behind FedEx Express, even. So you can read it, which is quite nice with this <laughs> zoom. So this shows the capabilities of the Find X7 Ultra. And uh, then some shots here. This is now with the three times zoom. Some boats passing by, ships passing by, kind of a race they did <laughs> on the Rhine because both going the same direction. And you can see this 3x, it's a bit of noisy there, I would say. And the interesting part is like when I go to, this is now I think 10x, maybe, yeah, it should be 10x now. Um, the optimized version, as you can see, is a bit darker, yes, but you can see the noise is gone. So they're really optimized here. It's nice and readable, it's heavily processed, you can see. But it looks clean. It looks good. Even in this situation there, I think they really optimized the 10x zoom there as well. So yeah, I'm really thinking of uh, maybe comparing it against the Vivo X100 Pro again and uh, raising my ranking there for the zoom level 0.1 points and also the video level because the zoom capabilities that you saw, Dolby Vision now, uh, maybe Dolby Vision put into extra features, so an extra feature 0.1 point more, uh, zoom 0.1 point more, and video 0.1 point more because of the zoom levels that they put in there. So yeah, um, I'm quite surprised by this update and how quickly Oppo is uh, yeah, releasing those updates. Very nice update uh, for sure. And um, that's it for photos. So what do you think? Pretty cool changes from Oppo for their new Find X7 Ultra. And I think they really did a nice job there. Is it enough to raise the points? I think I have to raise the points here because the zoom in and zoom out effect, especially in 4K 60 frames per second, is just a tad better than on the Vivo X100 Pro. And it's so good that I think on the Oppo Find X7 Ultra, I will raise the point at 0.1 point. And that's, this means that on my ranking system, the Oppo Find X7 Ultra is taking the lead again against the Vivo X100 Pro. But Vivo is known to also uh, kick back and also provide us with good updates. So I think there will be very, very interesting race there uh, with the next update that's coming to the Vivo X100 Pro to see if this can uh, then uh, be on par again with the Oppo Find X7 Ultra or even beat the Oppo Find X7 Ultra uh, with uh, tons of improvements there as well. That's it for this video. If you want to like, just like it. If you think I'm biased against Vivo or I'm favoring Oppo or something like this, write it down in the comments as well. Um, and uh, yeah, until the next time. Bye.